Good morning. Every day you wake up, it's not always gonna be a good day, but every day is a blessing. Remember that. So it's actually not in the morning, but I just wanna like give y'all some pre-day in my life thoughts. To give y'all a little context, I just came back from spring break. Last week was my spring break and it's been a week. And your boy's not ready to come back into my routine. He's like, I'm a type of person that I love my routine. I love doing the same thing over and over again. But this week it has been inconsistent because I feel like I'm still like in a spring break mode and I'm not ready to dial back in and I've been feeling a little low in motivation. So just wanna hop on here and to prove y'all that if you wanna change something about your life, you don't need to wait until next week, next month, or next year. You can wake up tomorrow and decide that is gonna be the first day of your new life. Like other days that y'all just be like, I didn't have time to go gym this morning because I have lab at eight. I didn't have good sleep last night, so I didn't wake up at five and went to the gym at six. So that's why I'm not feeling very anabolic today. When like there are days that you you have like a very non-anabolic day, it's those days for me that makes me like feel super motivated and shit. I need to go to bed soon tonight, so I can't can't wake up tomorrow morning feeling like myself again and get back in routine and stuff so I'm just letting y'all know and keep myself accountable for tomorrow to restarting my routine and a structured day in my life Whoa. good morning it's another day and we get to wake up can y'all believe that we get to wake up up to another beautiful day lying ahead of us so wh why are you why are you still sleeping we are 40 minutes behind our schedule because normally i wake up at five and go to the gym at six but it is 6 40 we're 40 minutes behind our schedule but it's fine today miracles gonna happen i i feel like the hardest part of like waking up is like just like the moment you get out of bed in the morning. But once you're done with that, bro, you're done, you're ready. Like once you brush your teeth, you don't wanna go back to bed. Okay, I feel like in the morning, my energy, I don't even need pre-workout, but I freaking love this. But with teeth rotating, totally big. I gotta go see y'all in a bit. Hello, my love. I just spilled my pre-workout all over, but whatever. It On a serious note though, I love waking up in the morning early because I feel like my mental clarity has been like improving since I started waking up early because my old lifestyle, I used to just wake up at, I have class at nine, right? Now I would just wake up at eight and like get ready for class and just be at the class like on time at like nine. Not even on time, I was always late to class. Okay, like as much as I feel like this is not personal, but I feel like it's personal. Like since I start waking up early and going to the gym in darkness, I just love that feeling. I just love the feeling of like walking out of my dorm and walking to the gym when it's like still so dark out because I just feel like I'm in an edit. You know what? Let's pretend that it's still dark out and I'm still in an edit. Look up to the sky and you can see the birds and you can see the trees and you can see all these cars. Is it crazy that we used to be monkeys climbing on the trees and now we have like, want to be moving in in like boxes. I mean cars. But uh, we are now arriving at the gym. Why is the gym dark though? Like, boy, what? Why is it kind of dark here? Where is everybody? Bro, what? What's going on? Legend Center closed. <laughs> For Easter, bro, bro. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> the gym closed. <laughs> It's all right, sweetheart. Guess what? Guess what? It's calisthenic day. I feel fresh because I just took a pre-workout shit. Okay, hold up, I need a shirt again. <laughs> All right, hello, sweetheart. It's over, time to play around, it's over. I'm gonna walk y'all real quick through my warm-up routine. I'm gonna do like this, do like this, and I'm gonna do like this. Please keep a stick cause you know that I got one yeah. She gave me top just from the bottom I gotta hit that Let's do some push-ups I see like my max push-ups I haven't done my max push-ups in a minute Let's see how much I can do I did 
Let me go. Oh! I shit so hard, I have a headache now. Ah, the surface is so hard. Stop complaining, bro. Every time I catch myself complain, I tell myself, I took the breath. But let's shift perspective to I have to, to I get to. I get to because your perception is very different. The same event in life happen, two people can have different attitude towards it. And the key is the, the way they perceive it. You can either choose to look at life at half a cup full or half a cup empty. That's your choice. Happiness is a choice. I don't care if y'all be like, oh, I'm chasing happiness. Like once I get there, I'll be happy. I don't care. I don't, I don't believe in that. Happiness is not about having good things happening to you all the time. Happiness is about flowing well with everything that happens in your life and about appreciating the small things and about having big biceps. No, it's not. Let's do one arm push up. No, I feel like one arm push up is like optimal for flexing, but it's not really optimal for like actually working the muscle hard. But anyway, let's do some one arm push up to flex on y'all. I usually put my leg like this, but let's like close a little bit more so it's a little harder. <sighs> anyway, so let's do some diamond push up. I feel like diamond push up is the most optimal push up, actually. Hit your tricep. If y'all watching this for the inspiration for body weight push workout, I'm gonna put y'all on some. I've already done the normal push up, right? The easiest one is normal push up. So you just boom, boom, like that. Next one is diamond push up, a little harder. When you put your arm in this diamond shape like this, right below your chest and you'd be like boom this is optimal for tricep if you want some fun you can do some arch up push up and it's like boom boom and then you boom up like that that's arch up push up and if you want something more fun you do your tricep push up like boom 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 My head is spinning, my head is spinning. What am I on this earth for? What is my purpose? One thing that's been like haunting my mind, not haunting, but I've been thinking about lately is you are not your mind. You are in control of your mind. The only thing in life that are totally in your control is your mind. Not even your body, bro. You can't control how your body appears. You can't control what other people think about you okay i'm about to put y'all something that might or might not make sense i feel like a lot of times throughout the day we'd be like my mind is going crazy i can't control my mind but whenever that happened to me whenever i was like oh why is that this person not responding to me yet like oh my god why this person commenting hateful things on my post blah, blah, blah. before going crazy and that that dictate my mood i was like take a deep breath and then i'm like you know what i can't control that what i can control it's my perception of myself and how I react to this. I can't control if external things happen to me, but I can control is how I react, how I respond to this. What is this trying to teach me? I am in control of my mind. I can see the truth. I can see through the truth. I'm not gonna let external things determine my perception of myself because I'm rooted on myself. I'm confident in who I am and I'm authentic to myself. So what other people think about me is none of my business. I can't control that. What I can control is how I think about myself. And if I don't like the way I'm perceiving myself, I need to fix my mind and I need to fix my habit, fix my lifestyle. All right, I just clear my head. So this is empty right now. There's nothing in here right now. So I think I can most likely do handstand. Now, let's see. We need to end this workout on a positive note. Today, I'm thankful that I can move my body. I'm thankful of having a healthy body. I'm grateful for my big biceps, tricep. I'm grateful for my strength. Thank you, the universe, for keeping me healthy and keeping my muscles functional. Bro, can y'all believe that we used to be like monkeys, swinging, on the trees and stuff.
and now here we are. We're literally flying on the sky in like in like like a metal box, like the the air the airplane. Have you ever like stopped and realized how blessed you are to be waking up every day? And every day you wake up is not always gonna be a good day, but every day is a blessing. Cause you get to wake up. We wake up. We wake up. We wake up. I wake up in the morning and I'm like, ah, oh, I have to wake up. No, I get to wake up. I get to wake up. We wake up. Bro, millions of people wishing they could wake up tomorrow. So as long as you wake up, as long as you get to wake up, it's a blessing. Stop complaining about having to wake up another day. No, you get to wake up. You get to wake up. I get to wake up. I get to be in a warm bed. I get to go to the gym. I get to move my body. Bro, life is full of blessings. Everything in life happens for a reason. You're on the right path. Let's go. It's another beautiful day to live. So get out there. Get off your phone. Get out there. Get out there. Let's go. It's a good day to be alive. It's a good day to have a good day. Boom! Walking out the gym. I feel like I was reborn. Look at the birds, bro. Look at the trees. Look at the sky. Oh, the first sun light of the day. I'm reborn, man. Life is good. Today's miracle is going to happen to my life and to yours as well. So watch out for that. Get super excited because miracles are going to happen today and tomorrow and every day after that. So look at the birds. The birds can fly and the trees. All right, gang. Now we are going to the gym. <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, going to the cafeteria for breakfast. I love, 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 love breakfast time, especially if I'm by myself. See, I'm not anti-social. I just, I just love my peace. And in the morning when I eat breakfast, when I'm not like rushing to class and actually have time to just chill, I love. Because, you know, I can just munch my eggs. I'm just like looking at the trees, the birds, the sky, and just observe my thoughts. It's like therapy. It's like meditation, except you actually like not sit and like close your eyes and meditate, but like meditating when your eyes are wide open. Because I feel like I used to feel the urge to have to like watch a YouTube video or like be on my phone, surf on social media when I eat. But I realized that it's because like our mind is so used to like cheap dopamine, like social media and YouTube. So we let ourselves feel the urge to be like on our phone constantly and don't let my, our mind rest. Like we feel the urge to always like fill our mind with noises. Since I started taking my breakfast more religiously and just be fully in the moment, eating my food without thinking about anything, I just love it. Like my mind is so quiet. I, I love it. I know like on Instagram I always like be yapping but most of my day I just be quiet and like meditative like this. I know that you're probably eating and watching this YouTube video but it's okay sweetheart. Today we don't have classes so we're gonna have a day of peace and, and applying for jobs after graduation. So now I have a little time so I'm gonna finish my bed first and read my book The Power of Now. Oh, I sipping on my matcha latte. You gotta start the morning right to have a day right. Uh -huh. Thank you for watching my video. That's the end of the today YouTube video. Thank you for watching. And if there's one thing you can take away from this, I hope you start trying to wake up early tomorrow. Trust is life changing. It's eye opening. It's mind blowing. Anyways, every day you wake up, it's not always gonna be a good day, but every day is a blessing. Right? I love y'all. Stay anabolic.